Thanks for coming back. Mike Powers in the building. Like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good shit. Shout to all the new subs coming on board. We got more content, more than just reviews. We talk about a lot of different things. A lot of y'all is fucking with the reviews real heavy right now. So let's just get right to a brand new one. Had to bring you this off back. Guess what I'm about to do right now? I'm about to do a reaction to this new joint that I think just dropped a, a couple of days ago. It's called uh, Ballad of the Bass by Big Crit. Before I go into this real quick, Big Crit, um, where did I first know Big Crit? Children, children of the world, lyrically, monster. Um, a lot of respect for that dude when he made that cut. Knew he was going to be a problem. Lyrical, uh, grown up ass street shit and some political things uh mississippi is a video i just saw not too long ago raw as fuck uh vent make sure you go check that song vent out without too much more delay though for the people that like my reviews coming up next is the review the mike powers review of big crit right, ballad let's just go ahead and get right into this big crit ballad of the bass I'm just gonna echo too much. Still working on these audio issues. I don't know. I don't know. I paused it. Yo, so how can you hate a song and like a song at the same time? This shit is weird. Um, the way it came on, it just reminded me of some stuff that I wanted to forget from, I guess, the mid 2000s, like 2007, 2006. Uh, like when, when Tom Tom was out, I ain't like that shit. Um, you know, I fuck with the Duro ice cream paint job. It's a good party record, good club record, but a lot of that shit that was coming out, I, I don't know what was it called? Snap music and shit like that. It reminds me a little bit of something like that. I could be way off base, but that's just what it reminded me of off the bat. So then I'm like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not feeling that, but then crit me. <laughs> <laughs> Being the dude that he is that came on this motherfucker and made me start liking it. I need to go back to the beginning. And let's start this joint over. Uh, let it breathe. Think about me this mic. For the club. Probably go hard in your car for real. I bet it's some bass on here. Like I said, I'ma let that be a I was so for the club, I'ma tear out that fire, crack the 
Still got some more to go. This is what is this his best lyrical output? Nah. Nah, it's not. I might have to listen to this like three more times. Not on this video, but in real life. Switch up. Be going hard. No, this part right here I'm vibing on. I'm gonna try to stop this so the commercial don't pop up on me like it always do. Know what I mean? Oh shit, let me do this. And I'm gonna leave a picture sitting right there. Yo, okay, what's my reaction to that? Shit, I'm still on the fence about it. <laughs> to be honest, it actually knocked. I could say that about a lot of songs that I don't listen to that they knock. Crit got a certain way with his flow though, where he rap fast and got that quick ass cadence, but he be saying some shit. Lyrically, like I said, it's not the necessarily the best output I have heard from Crit, um, but it's a party song. Uh, obviously meant for the trunks, clubs, and strippers. So on that basis, I'm going to give him his props. I like the song. Obviously, I'm, I need more lyrics. Uh, I'm typically, even though I listen to all type of rap music from East Coast to West Coast to Down South, I'm a big T.I. fan. I mean, big Kendrick fan, Snoop, whatever. You know I fuck with that East Coast heavy. So in my mind, I need lyrics. If it's something that I'm riding around listening to on a daily basis, very few songs do I just play because the beat is good. Um, I'll tell you one song that I played because the beat is just raw, Still DRE by Dre and Snoop. When you hear that, bling, 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 yo, bing, <laughs> That shit come on. <laughs> when that bitch come on, yeah. But the lyrics on there, is still, it's not like a lyrical masterpiece, like uh, like a Nas or something like that. But they get bit. It's Dre. Dre is an okay rapper. Okay. But they did their thing on there, and then you just got Snoop coming out of nowhere doing his thing. So some songs I do listen to just for the beat. I'll put this in the whip and I'll see if this is going to qualify for something I'm going to roll down the windows for this summer uh, and let everybody feel this shit. Right now, it's good output, decent output. That's what I'm going to say about that because I'm, I'm a big Crit fan. So it's not a bad song. I don't not like it. I like it. Maybe not a lot, but I do like the song. That's just my honest opinion right now after listening to it. Um, so that's my review of Big Crit Ballad of the Bass. I hope you enjoyed it. 
um, stop back for more because I got two videos dropping every single week at least, might be three, and I got another reaction coming up pretty soon, and I'm not going to tell you what that is. You're just going to have to tune in. So like, subscribe, comment, share, add it to your playlist, and catch me back here at this same spot. Hope you like the new background. And maybe we'll do a different background next time. Uh, until next time, I'm Mike Powers, and I'm out.